so we're good. So I'm just gonna go through everything, like my process of like my teacups and my MAs. And if you've been like watching these sessions for a while, um, you can kind of see how it's changed um, because I did just do like the simplest, like I would just teach people the simplest four steps. Now it's kind of a little bit more in depth um, that we have like more confirmations. So I'm definitely excited to share those with you guys. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen. And um, we're gonna be looking at GBP and ZD. And I'm gonna pull up the chat box too. So if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to type. Okay, I'll put that up there. Okay, so right now I am looking at GBP and ZD. These are still popping up. Okay, I'm gonna just clear my screen, move all my drawing tools, and I'm gonna hide my MA crosses. So I'm gonna go over the MA crosses first because it will tie into the teacups later. So I'm just gonna remove those and we'll start from scratch. So I'm on GBP NZD on the four hour. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is set up my indicators. So I'm gonna have two indicators, my MA, my MA and my EMA. So on trading view, I'm gonna go over here to the indicators tab and search up moving average, or you can just type moving. Um, it's gonna be the first one and the second one. So just click those and you're gonna see two lines on your screen. So with the first line, the EMA, I'm over here on like the left side of the screen. Over here with the EMA, I'm gonna go to settings because I need to change the EMA from nine to 50. So I need to change the length from nine to 50. And then just so I can see it better, I'm going to make the line thicker and just click okay. And then with the moving average, I'm gonna do the same thing except I'm gonna change the length from nine to four. So with the EMA and the MAR, so the EMA is the 50, it is gonna be the orange line. Let me change, let me make this thicker too. So what these are, the average of the last, well for the EMA is gonna be the average of the last 50 candles and the MA, the four, is gonna be the average of the last four candles. So that's what we're looking for. And then basically with this strategy, all you're doing is waiting for those two lines to cross. So my blue line and my orange line, all I'm doing is waiting for them to cross. So for example, right here, they cross going up. So whenever those lines cross going up, that's a buy. So it's going this way, you're gonna buy. It's an indicator for a buy. So from this cross, you can see that it did go up for a buy, and that's pretty much all this is, and vice versa. If the EMA is crossed and they cross going down, then that's an indicator for a sell. So I hope this makes sense. It's super simple. Pretty much if the blue line crosses the orange line going up, then you're buying. If the blue line crosses the orange line going down, then you're selling. So if that makes sense, can you guys put a one in the chat? If it doesn't, put a two. All right, cool. I see a lot of ones and I did see a question on how to put the EMA, so I'll go over that again. Um, all right, cool. There's, I see a lot of ones, which is great. So I'm gonna remove this, that way I can go over it again. Okay, so I'm gonna go to indicators, type in moving, and it's gonna be the first two options. So moving average exponential, click it, and moving average. And I have two stars in my mind just because I use them all the time. So once I have those two lines on my screen, so you see I have a purple line and an orange line, 
I'm just gonna go to their settings. So for the EMA, I want this to be 50, and for the MA, I want it to be four. So for the EMA, I'm gonna go to settings, go to inputs, change the length of the, of the EMA from nine to 50. Go to style, just make the line thicker, that way you can see you don't have to do this, this is just something that I do. And then that's it, just click OK. And so then I'm gonna do kind of the same process for the MA, except I'm gonna change it from nine to four. So I'm gonna go to settings again, go to input, change the length from nine to four, go to style, make the line a little bit thicker, and then just click OK. So that's that's how you set up those two lines. And then now my lines have changed colors, but it's the same thing. So whenever the purple line crosses the orange line or the yellow line, whatever color that is, um, you're gonna, and they cross going up, that's an indicator for a buy. And if the, or, if the purple line crosses the orange line going down, that's an indicator for a sell. Okay, and so for these, there is a take profit and a stop loss. So for these, wherever the lines cross, that's gonna be like your, I guess your baseline um, for where your stop loss and take profit are gonna be. So um, for if we're gonna be doing a buy, we're gonna have our stop loss below our entry. So this one is a buy and for MA crosses, you want your lines to, your stop loss to be about 15 to 20 pips. I do 20. Um, but that's just me. You don't have to. So it just I use a measuring tool, um, which you can see find over here, and then I just measure that out, um, like 20 pips, and then just take take the number that's on the side because every horizontal line is connected to a number, and then put that in your MetaTrader for your stop loss, and then same thing, um, going the other way, just from that baseline of the, where the X's are. Um, on the one hour, I'm looking for 20 to 30 pips. On the four hour, 40, and then on the daily, 100 pips. So right now I'm on the four hours, so I'm looking for about 50 pips from where the lines crossed. And as you can see, it went way above that. I'm at the top of the wick on one of those, that top red candle, and that's 353, but I was only looking for 60. So as you can see, I definitely got all of those pips. And you guys, this is so simple. I taught it to my little brother. He's seven years old. And the way I explained it to him was like a pirate. So as we all know, like X marks the spot. That's where you're gonna find all of your treasure. So I tell him to look for an X because X marks the spot. And if it's going up, he clicks the blue button. If it's going down, he clicks the red button. So. That's just how I explained it to him. I don't know if that helps anybody else, um, but my seven-year-old brother got it. So hopefully you guys got it too. Um, let me check the chat. How does the measuring tool work? Can you use, is there a current one just to understand the entry better? Um, okay, so for the measuring tool, you just click like where, there's like these two lines that are going up, like vertical and horizontal. Um, so with the horizontal, I just line it up with wherever the entry is and then like measure down and measure up and then where I'm looking to see the number is this one right here. So here would be 177. Um, but yes, I can show how I measure the 30. So I'm going to do it on this one right here. You can put the MA crosses on your MT4. Um, you just have to set it up on that, um, but to look for, and you'll also, this is, I'll show you guys too, um, like 30 pips exactly, especially on teacups, because that's my stop loss no matter what, but for this one, right here, about right, about right there would be 30 pips, um, and there was another one, and then, yes, so let me go to NZD. Okay, so I was looking at this earlier. They haven't crossed yet, but they look like they're going to. Um, so whenever they cross, um, as you can see, the purple line is going, looks like it's gonna cross 
the orange line. I don't know for sure yet. So I wouldn't um, just like jump into it right this second. I'll just wait for like those candles to develop, wait for the market to open and just watch what happens. It's, these two are really close to crossing. And if they cross, they're most likely gonna cross going down. Um, so that's an indicator for a sell. And it, since it's on the four hour, you're looking for about, for about like 50 to 60 pips just based off of that cross, if it happens. That's only if it happens. If it doesn't, um, then I wouldn't take it. That's just me personally. Um, you, it, it is your trading account, so you can um, take it if you want to. Um, but that's really how everything is um, with the MA crosses. So if anybody has any questions about those, um, feel free to ask. If not, I'm gonna show you guys how I can, it's about a cross. You can, let's see. On what time frame? I only look at the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. Yeah, so with the MA crosses, um, my, uh, I do market execution. I don't do pending orders. I do pending orders on teacups, which I'm going to go over right now. Um, so I'm going to go to GBP NZD or go back to GBP NZD. Um, this will load. And then I'll come back to USD CAD at the end. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the four hour. Okay, so I'm gonna clear my screen again. Oh, I just removed my indicators on accident. So I'm gonna set those up really quick. Actually, I'll set them up right now. That way nothing gets confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what teacups are and I'm gonna show you one that I took. And I'm actually, I actually lost this teacup, but I'm gonna show you guys like, after I do lose a teacup and after I do win a teacup, I go back and I look at what happened, um, what I did right and what I did wrong. So I'm actually gonna show you guys something that, um, one, a teacup that I did lose, but I'm gonna show you guys all of my confirmations and stuff like that. Okay, so before the teacup used to be only like four steps. I would just say it was really like only two, about two, um, but now it's just gotten um, a lot more in depth. But the first part of it is still the same. All I'm gonna do is look for a bullish and a bearish candle. So right here, I'm looking right here. Um, how do I, okay, I'll do this. Okay, so I'm looking right here. I have my bullish candle and my bearish candle. So I'm looking for a blue and a red. Once I have that, I look at the third candle. So right here. So this is candle number one, this is candle number two, and this is candle number three. So I'm looking at the third candle, and I'm looking for a lower low. So we should have learned this in the academy about like lower lows and lower highs, um, but a lower low is just another bearish candle that's lower than the first, like the bearish candle before it. So this bearish candle is lower than this one. So once I have those three, then I take a horizontal line, place it at the top of the bodies of my first two candles. So that's normally what I would have done. And then like just put my entry, my stop loss, all of that. But because I do notice that this is a really long wick off of this bearish candle, if it's more than 15 pips, then I like measure it like all the way and then I do half of it and then that becomes my entry. So I'm gonna just take this measuring tool, place it on the bodies of the candles, like the top, measure the wick. And so it's 28 pips, so it's about almost 30. So I'm gonna do 15, or yeah. 
So when we take that, measure 15 pips. Okay, that's 14.8. So here's about 15. So that becomes my entry based off of the wick. So let me get rid of this line. That way nothing gets confusing. So this white line is my entry. So my entry would have been 2.01440. And I can see that line over here in the corner. And then I look, I look left. So based off of this white line, I just see where price, like how price has been around that area. And I can see there's a lot of action around it. There's a lot of, um, so there's support, there's resistance. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for support and resistance based off of this white line. And if I see that there is support and resistance, then I know, okay, this is, this could potentially be a really good entry. So just zoom out, look left, and then wherever you see, like right here, there's support. Here I have resistance, support up here, resistance. So I'm just looking for those just to, like as added confirmations for the teacup. And so once I have this white line, then I'm gonna look for my stop, then I'm gonna do my stop loss and my take profit. But just remember like those, the, fir the first couple of things that you do is you're bearish, you're bullish, bearish, and then a lower low. And then um, if, the can if the wick of one of the first two candles is more than 15 pips, then measure it and then do half of what like the wick was. So my wick was 30, about 30 pips. So my stop loss is 15 pips, which is right in the middle. I'm not my stop loss, my entry. Okay, so then I have, and then I look left. And so based off of this white line is how I'm gonna find my stop loss and my take profit. So again, taking this measuring tool, because I'm putting a sell limit, which is a pending order. So if you go onto your MetaTrader, and where it says market execution, you just click it, and then you're gonna have a bunch of options pop up, and one of them is gonna be sell limit. So that's what I do with teacups is they are pending orders and they're gonna be sell limits. So with it, you're gonna be able to add everything, your entry, your stop loss, take profit, all of that. And that's what you're gonna do based off of this white line. So this white line is my entry. I'm just gonna measure 30 pips. I always do a 30 pip stop loss no matter what time frame. And then I just place a horizontal line there. And I change this to red just because I'm a visual person. I change it to red. And then I take the measuring tool again. And because I'm on the four hour, I'm looking for about 40 to 50 pips on the four hour. I'm gonna go fit. Well, I went 50. Place it right there at the bottom of the box and then I change the screen. Yeah, I'll explain how I got the entry again. And then, um, no, I so I anticipated for GBP to go down, but I actually got stopped out of this trade. So, Based off of these lines, sorry, I just heard people in my house. Um, based off of these lines, my stop loss would have been hit right here. So I got pulled out of this trade, but this is typically how teacups work. They don't, they, you have your entry and then it makes, it forms like a little cup. And there's, I'm gonna make like an arc. I don't know if any of you have been on, or any of you have gold cup. Um, I always do this. I don't, yeah, I don't know if any of you have gold cup, but this is kind of like a, another way to see it. So this part of it is like the cup. So let's just, let's kind of just forget about this right, real quick. So this is what I wanted to happen. I have my entry right here. I wanted, I saw the market coming there, like going down and then coming back up, entering me off of this white line and then going back down. So let me take the brush real quick and like draw the handle. So this right here is like the actual cup in a teacup. 
and then the handle is where you want to get your profit from. So this would have been the handle and it did eventually go down after I got stopped out. I just had too tight of a stop loss. So it looks like this from my entry, just came back up, put me in the market because it is a sell limit. So I was in for a sell and then I would have watched the market drop, but I did get stopped out. Um, but the market, it did still form a teacup. For the cup, so you got GBP and Sigma. What tool did you use for the cup? Um, I went over here to like these and I used the arc. And then, oops, wrong one. Yeah, you just, still the wrong one. My bad, guys. Yeah, just just the arc. Um, but yeah, so it's like a teacup. And then the handle of the cup is where you like want your profit. So it's supposed to look like that. And then if without that arc, it, it'll look like that. So that's why it's called a teacup. Now I'm gonna put my indicators back up on the screen and I'm gonna show you how I use my indicators in my teacups. And this is also something that Lazaldo does do. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys a step that for the MA crosses too. So I'll go over that really quickly. Let me just set everything back up. Okay. So I don't want to delete everything because then everything's going to be gone and I'm going to have to do it again. But I don't like to have a busy screen um, just because I'm easily distracted. So when it comes to indicate, like using the indicators with the MA crop with the teacups, whenever you have a teacup set up, let me go right here. Whenever you have a teacup set up, anytime, like, um, let me find an example. Anytime you have a teacup and the MAs cross, it's like right here. This could have been, it. well, this, yeah, you would have gotten wicked out. But this right here, like we have all of the confirmations, blue, red, and this is a lower high, but it still counts because it's lower than this blue candle. So it would have still been valid for it. However, right here, we have a, an MA cross. So whenever the MAs cross and they cross going up and you have a teacup near that area, do not take the nearest teacup. So this would have been the nearest teacup for that. Let me draw this out. Okay, so that would have been my teacup. Here, the MAs cross and they cross going up. So whenever those cross going up and there's a teacup near it, don't take the nearest teacup because you only have a, well, I only have a 30 pip stop loss. And if it's on the four hour, we're looking for anywhere from 50 to 60 pips. So if you get in and there's an MA cross, chances are you're gonna get stopped out. So don't take the nearest teacup whenever there's an MA crossing. So if that makes sense, can you guys put a one in the chat? If it doesn't, um, I'll try to explain it better and find another example. But I'm gonna also go back to how I got my entry. More example, got you. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase my screen with all the drawing tools. Okay, let's see. All right, here, here's one. Okay, so right here, I have my bullish and my bearish candle. And I used to write these out and I kind of missed writing them out, so.
Um, looking for the, uh, so that's the first step, bullish bearish, so blue or, and red candle. And then step number two is to look at the third candle. And we're looking for a another bearish candle. Or a bullish candle, which is a blue candle. That's lower than the first one. And then step three, to look left. We're looking for support and resistance. Oh, well, actually, it's going to be horizontal line. H-O-R-I-Z-O-N-T. Off of the bodies of the first two candles, the top of the bodies of the first two candles. And then step four would be to look left. We're looking for support and resistance off of the white line. And then step five, so TP and stop loss. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. So it's right here. So I have my bullish and my bearish candle. And then I'm looking for my third candle, which is right here. So it's another bearish candle, so I don't have to like worry about another bullish one. So blue, red, red. But I see that the wicks are really long, so I'm gonna measure those wicks to see how high they go. So I'm gonna just put this horizontal line like at the top of the bodies of them and then measure to the top of the um, like the highest wick. So it's about 40 pips. So then I'm gonna measure again and I want my entry to be half of that, so 20. So I'm gonna place a horizontal line right there at that 20 pip mark, change it white, and then look left. But because right now I'm doing the MA crosses, or I'm showing you guys like how it would cancel it out. Right here, the MAs, they kind of, they barely cross going up. And because they did that, um, I'm going to like completely not take that candle, like not take that teacup because let's measure out how far that went. So since on the four hour, we're looking for about 60 pips. Oh, so it would have been right below it, but I still wouldn't have taken it. But do you guys see like how it will, it could Potentially, like if my entry were right here, it would have been right at my entry. And then still continued going up. So that's what like the indicators, the MA cross indicators are indicators that the market is going to continue to go up into a buy if they cross up. Here they actually did cross up and then here they barely crossed. They kind of went like that. So whenever there is an MA cross near a teacup, do not take the teacup. I mean, you can take it. Um, it's like trading at your own risk because it can do exactly what it did here. It crossed and then just shot straight up and you would have been taken out because your stop loss is only 30 pips. Yeah, I hope... I thought I had a better example, but I kind of lost it when I was writing everything. Um, let's see how many of this was. This is a cross. So right here about was about 60. Yeah. So it doesn't happen all the time, but um, that's just for me. I don't take the nearest teacup whenever there is a MA cross. And if there isn't, then um, you really don't have to worry about it. 
but I also did kind of go over again how I got my entries. And if the wick is not, if the wick is something like this, it's really little, if it's not more than 15 pips or doesn't look like it is, then you just place the horizontal line right at the top of the bodies. And then that becomes your entry. And then these are cell limits, so they're pending orders. Okay, um, hopefully I explained everything um, easily, like easily to remember. Um, if not, I'm happy to go over anything. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to write them in the chat and then I'll like um, explain everything, anything clearer. All teacups are cell limits. Um, I mean, if you catch a teacup right as it's happening, you can do a market execution, but for the most part, they are all cell limits. There are inverted teacups, so I'll go over that because I see one right here. So inverted teacups, let me remove all drawing tools. Let me hide my indicators. Inverted teacups are just the opposite of regular teacups. So before we were looking for a bullet, a bullish and then a bearish candle. Right now we're looking for a bearish then a bullish candle. So right here we have a bullish, I mean not a bullish, I'm sorry. We have a bearish candle and then we have a bullish candle. So that's already step one. Step two is look for the third candle, which is another bullish candle. So it's literally just the opposite. Before we were looking for blue, red, red. Now we're looking for red, blue, blue. So we have red, blue, blue. And because that wick looks pretty long, I'm gonna measure it out. Cause I know it's more than 50, it's more than 50. So that's about 75. So half of that is 35. So I'm just gonna go in again. Thirty-five. Okay. Right there. Pick a line. Right there. Okay, and so it's literally just the op, like the, the inverted way. It's just the opposite. Blue, red, red. I mean, red, blue, blue. Sorry. Horizontal line, and then we're looking left again, and look what we have here. See? So it's super simple. And all you do is you just have to find your take profit and your stop loss again. And it's by measuring out um, like both ways. So instead of a sell limit, we're doing a buy limit. And our stop loss is going to be below the line instead of above it, 30 pips. Again, you guys do not have to have a 30 pip stop loss. It can be more or less, that's just what I do. And then I change the color to red. And then my measuring tool again, 60 pips. Oops, that is way too much. Find there, change it to green. So it's literally just the opposite. So this one is a buy limit, this would be a buy limit. So does that make sense? If that makes sense, like type of five in the chat. All right, cool. So does anybody have any questions on anything that I went over? So would you let this be a potential trade to take? Um, okay, so I, I'm not saying to take it. Um, I would say look at it. If you like it, go for it. Um, I just, I'm not that comfortable like saying here, buy this, sell this, and then watch everybody like lose money. So um, it's up to you. 
Um, let's see what else. What time do I usually trade? I usually trade early in the morning. I trade like as soon as London session um, like starts. I'm usually up for Kathy Kirkland sessions and then I'm up for like an extra hour to two hours looking for teacups and looking for MA crosses. Um, just because my schedule at the time, I am a full-time student. I was taking 18 hours. So a lot of my day was spent um, like studying, doing homework. Um, and I'm a political science major. So a lot of my um, homework has to do with um, like reading like court cases and um, just like going into detail about like everything, like elections, all of that stuff. So it was really time consuming. Um, so I would just stay up really late to trade. But GBP, NZD specifically, it moved, like I'll, I'll tell you guys this because I've just been like trading this pair for a while. It does move at like seven, six, seven in the morning. Um, but yeah, any more questions? Okay, so if there's no more questions, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, I do apologize for not like having Teacup Tuesdays for like a month. Um, November, we just had back-to-back -back events like every week. Um, so I was doing those and then finals came up right after. So I had to pass all those classes, which I did. I did pass, my GPA is still a 3.8. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hopping on the session. Um, I will be doing these consistently more and then um, I'll be dropping more stuff on my social media. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much.